Hi loves, this is Jane. Welcome back to my channel. Today is another shoe haul. I've noticed there is one type of shoes that I wear quite often in summer and those are mules. So today I will share with you the 33 pair of mules in my shoe drop and I will give you my honest feedback for each pair. You will see the rainbow colors and some very trendy brands like Mina Moati, Bottega, and Jacu Mousse, and some of the most classic ones that I'm obsessed with like Manolo Blahnik and Gironda Rossi. I will include all the meals in today's video in a Mawson's list and share it in the description box below. Since the summer sale have started, I feel this is a great time to invest in a pair that you really love. So if you like today's video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Alright, let's get started! Okay, it's probably best to start with all the Manolos. First up is this adorable yellow goat pair and obviously the fringe detail make them a must have for me. It literally makes walking more fun. Plus, this yellowish goat color represents wealth in Asia, so it felt meaningful to me. They are kitten heels, so they are super easy to walk into. They are out of stock in most places, but if you are lucky enough to find a pair, just know they run a half size small. Good luck! Moving on to this emerald beauties, these are actually a new purchase and I love the color. It's very trendy this summer. The bow tie is very elegant and feminine, so you can easily dress them up or down. These are kitten heels as well, very light and great to throw on even for errands. Overall, Manolo's shoes run on the smaller side, so keep that in mind when shopping. These are the Maysail Mules, a classic Manolo style. The design is timeless and I love the color contrast, especially such a bold red. The floor design is minimal and chic, not too feminine, but just enough. I style them with a workwear look. They are great for dressing up a pair of jeans and would also be so cute with an A-line fitted dress for a 1950 vibe. The only comment I have is that the bunkle does feel kind of hard, so maybe not great for food day of wear, or I just didn't break them in enough yet. Manolo number 4 is this PVC pair. These were actually one of the first PVC designs to hit the market. I am crazy about clear heels, so I had to have them. The double straps attached to the instep give me extra support for the stiletto heel. They are so light, it actually feels like I'm not wearing anything aside from the fact that it is a stiletto. When it comes to feet, they do run a full size small and are more narrow, so I do recommend trying on first if you have a wider foot. Last of my Manolo mules is this classic brown pair. Having a pair of heels like this is essential. The color makes them easy to match with any outfit, and the style is simple and clean. The fun pop-off color on the sole is just another reason I love Manolo. There's always something special. Again, just keep in mind Manolos are mostly a narrow feet. Other than that, they are easy to walk in and a great purchase. Moving on to the very trendy Bottega Veneta. I am definitely a fan of terra cloth heels for summer. The square toe in orange color is the best mix of chic and fun. I know they look like wider feet, but the bow tie actually holds tight and keeps you from sleeping. They have a comfy rubber sole and they are easy to walk in. The biggest downside is definitely the price, close to $1,000, and after wearing a few times, the cotton sole material is hard to clean. Sorry, Bottega. Now let's check out this Terry pair from Jacquemus. It's very hard for me to say no to anything in this color, but shoes? Forget it. To me, they are the perfect height at 85mm. Still sexy, but not too high that you will have a hard time walking. They also have a padded sole, so they are very comfortable. And a more friendly price too. Mawson's has tons of options. I recommend these if you have a wider foot. For me, the upper was loose and I felt like I would sleep at any moment. Okay, now these were such a shock to me, in a good way. I got this from Zara a few years ago and I swear they're just like new. They're comfortable with a padded sole and have a bit of wider feet. They're good quality, soft genuine leather and the price is amazing. Plus, this cute baby blue color works every summer. Highly recommend Zara for genuine leather shoes. 
These pair has a similar design and also pretty friendly price. They are very light and are made with soft leather. And the Keaton hue means easy walking all day long. Nude is a great color year round, so I was happy to add this to my wardrobe. Easy shoes to throw on and still look cute. If the last two were too basic for you, you're going to love these from Loewe. A simple, chic opera design with the most unique, fun, surprising heel design. The nail polish heel is just too cute, and honestly, the whole collection is entertaining. Not only that, but they are comfortable too, easy to walk in with the mid white feet. Unfortunately, shoes this good come with a price tag to match. Definitely check on Mossens for a cheaper price. Next up is this Giuseppe Zanotti pair with a similar concept, simple in the front with a glamorous heel. I think the minimal double strap design adds to the elegance of the overall shoe. By the looks of the heel, you would think they are uncomfortable, but that's actually not the case. The straps are made of suede, and they fit the highest part of the instep. They are light and easy to walk in. I would try to get this on sale if you can. Okay, now these pair by Magda Boutron might just be my most frequently warm heel when the weather gets warmer. I was very surprised that a clothing brand would have such good quality heels. It doesn't get better than these. A very simple and classic design that matches everything. Can't say enough good things about them. These are also Magda Boutron and again, they are the perfect heel, minimalist and clean. The PVC top, clear heel, and silver sole is just so right. Usually PVC styles are not comfortable, but these are super lightweight and made with. I think between this pair and the last one, they are top two for heels I wear most in spring summer. I love them so much. I bought a second pair in case anything happens to my original pair. That's the shoe holic in me. On to some PVC with this new Gironda Rossi beauties. These are one of my latest purchases after eyeing them for a while. One thing I know, you can always trust the GR shoes to be beautiful and comfortable. I love that it's colored PVC and has a pointed toe design. It gives them an edgy feel. Also, the softest PVC upper of all the pairs I've ever tried. If you are thinking about buying, they run a half size small. They also have this cool green color. Moving on to Ecrisoral, you might know that I'm not the biggest fan when it comes to their shoes. So let's start with the positives. The shoes are beautiful, very cool design with embellished upper and disco bowl-like heel. Because of the bold heel, they are easy to stand in. That being said, because of the heel design, they are a little on the heavier side. The hardwood sole sounds just like it feels hard. Lastly, the PVC is very rigid, so it cuts into your foot with every step. Trust me, good for photo, bad for walking. Akrazaral definitely knows design. These emerald heels are luxuries in both color and texture with the beautiful velvet bowl detail on the front. The special gold heel makes them even more elegant and matches the gold detail on the ball. A truly rich pair of shoes. If only they were comfortable, the hardwood sole just really makes them hard to wear for a long time. If you made it to this pair, yay! This are another new purchase from Dior and I absolutely love them. They are super comfy with the rubber sole and kitten heel. I think I could actually run in these shoes. The upper and sole are padded, so they feel very supportive, but not steep at all. Normal weight, white feet, and these run true to size. If I had to say something negative, it would just be that. As with many white shoes, they get dirty more easily, but I think that's the price to pay for shoes like this. This pair from Amina Muadi has her classic pyramid heel design to give an otherwise basic pair of mules a little bit of character. I love the chic square toe and the heel design makes them easy to stand in. The top cutting fits the instep very well and the leather is thin and flexible. For me, the heel design makes them feel a little heavier, making it harder to walk. 
the thin wood and their sole isn't very comfortable so I don't like to wear these for all day wear or anywhere with a lot of walking. This next pair is by Paris Texas, a trendy brand with a friendlier price point. I like the square tall design, the collar and the chunky heel looks good too. Not the confused heels with a hard thin wood sole. The chunky heel also makes them kind of hard to walk in. I'd much rather wear the light blue pair from Zara. Moving on to some close toed options, we have this Gabrielle Hearst pair. I love the design because they have a very vintage feeling. The shoes themselves are very light with soft leather. The upper cutting fits the instep nicely. And as we know, I love a good kitten heel for walking. Great work shoes for summer. The only problem with these is that the delicate white lambskin is very hard to maintain. These are a very timeless, very Gucci pair of shoes. They feel sophisticated in design, and I know I can wear them as long as I'm still wearing heels. The extra strap is good for support, and they are very easy to walk in. Another great choice for a work shoe. I am definitely happy I invested in this. This next pair by Philip Lim is definitely more edgy with the black leather and stoss combo. Good for any full looks or maybe with a little black dress for a cute and casual day-night look. They're pretty comfortable and feel secure when you wear them. Only problem with these is the heavy heel. And last but not least is this adorable velvet pair from The Row. These were definitely a very popular style back in the day. I like the deep blue color and the satin strap design. It reminds me of a ballet sleeper. The sweet leather is very soft, but when I wear them, they sleep off when I walk. I think maybe the front is too short and the sleepery material doesn't help. These run small too. Alright loves, that's all 23 pair of mules in my shoe drop. Comment your favorite pair below and don't miss out on any good sale prices this summer. See you next time.